I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Think you made a good impression, Batman? My boss isn't usually that nice. <sighs> I'd like to see her on a bad day. Special Agent Imana Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only. <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. Well, let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos. The energy. You can't keep away, can you? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here. Sorry, but we need to borrow Mr. Wayne for a little bit. We'll give him back when we're done. Promise. Now, if you'll excuse us... Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? You'll just have to put up with us for a few minutes. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe? <laughs> so happy. I'm sorry that didn't last. Yeah, so am I. They say children who suffer trauma spend their whole lives trying to make up for the loss. You're only, what, 32? And look at all you've accomplished. You've lived a pretty exciting life so far, Mr. Wayne. Yeah, it certainly has its moments. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? It's okay. You don't have to talk about it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. A lot of 
things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You helped the GCPD capture Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin. He was a terrorist, a member of the Children of Arkham, and your friend. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. We know you're acquainted with him, Mr. Wayne. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. Better not to deny it. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. It's clear you're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. Hmm. Invoking your right to silence, Wayne? That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. You brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smarter than me. Well, you're not. It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online. Ready, Bruce. Let the hostages go, Riddler. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oversized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor! It's heating up! Thanks, Batman. Hi. Are you all right? Oh, 
Oh God, not more. He's wearing something that neutralizes the shock device. I've memorized your playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Poor Eli held out longer than I expected, but I knew he'd give me up eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Mori. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's so-called hero will die knowing he couldn't save everyone. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. I'm curious to see how you'll handle it all! Ah, oh, well, I can't make you, of course. But people will die if you don't, including the agent next to you. You can handle the sonic blasts. But her? I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Which one of your dead friends am I? Need a hint? Starts with the letters L and F. Well, who am I? Stonewalling, huh? I'm afraid that's not going to work. Please, give him a chance to answer. Abasta, please! Please! Blake! Oh my god, Blake! Number two. Also, completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think he means me. Say it. I need an answer. Just say it. Or click, click, click! You can't just sit this one out. People will die. It's me. I'm black and blue. Look at that. At least she knows how to play. Enough, Riddler. You've made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast. I'll fire one of the missiles.
Use the bad cam to make it target the cage. And use Riddler's trap to protect Iman and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed. Ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. What are you doing? be happening! Batman, I... Blake and I tracked Riddler's ship through the Port Authority logs. We thought we could bring him in ourselves. Riddler snatched us straight off the docks. I should have said no. Urged caution. And now... And now my colleagues are... All we did was hand Riddler more hostages. We only made things worse. It's good to know we've got Riddler in custody, despite the cost. <laughs> 